Holly here from Your Past is a Gift. So in this video, I wanted to make this video and I wanted it to be called Be the Parent That You Never Had. Okay? Because for all of us, there would have been one parent that made us feel ashamed of who we were. There would have been one parent or a grown-up, okay, that was raising you, that would have made you feel unwanted, unworthy, not good enough in some way. A parent that made you feel guilty. You know, that you're always doing the wrong thing. You're being a bad little girl or a bad little boy. Always shaming you, guilting you. So, you know, many times people will come into our lives to show us that we can be that. And for many of us, we go into our lives and we follow that example. Even though we didn't like it, we didn't like what was done to us and we didn't like what was said to us as children. We were disrespected and disregarded and treated like we had no say because we were little. We will go out into the world and copy that because that's all we've known. But in every moment, you have a choice. Because I know from my experience, I've watched my dad, you know, when he grew up, we were told these stories that he used to get beaten up severely. But he never laid a finger on us. He never even raised his voice to us. And I adored my dad. I still adore my dad. You know, for all the love that he's given me in my life. He's shown me what love is. Whether you're good, whether you're bad, whether you're the best student, whether you're, you know, the worst athlete. It didn't matter what you were. He still loved me, no matter what. I knew that. I knew that. And I could tell him anything. And I knew that no matter what I told him, I would never be judged. I knew with him. So he gave me the example of what I wanted to be as a parent. You know, but I always remember in my mind the things that I didn't like that my mum did. The yelling, the smacking, the, the guilting. You know, because many times she'd make us feel guilty to get her way of what she wanted. You know, for us to behave the way she wanted. You know, so all of these things, I always swore I would never do them with my children. I hated how that felt. I was never going to do that to my children. You know, so in every moment of your life, people are presented to you and you can choose. If there's something you really admire and you really like it, there's nothing stopping you from taking that on. Take that on. How they've treated you or how they've treated another person. It doesn't even have to be you. You might have witnessed it. You know, they treated their child in a certain way and you thought, oh, I love that. When I have my children, I'm going to do that because it's lovely I didn't have that but you can see that there's love it's been done with love and you can see the love and you want to experience that now with your children even though you didn't have it with your parents or parent you can have that now with your children so in every moment you're choosing you can choose to keep you know you continue on with the pattern that was set in place when you were a child the pattern that you didn't like. You can keep doing that. You can keep following that. And you know what that feels like. You know what that feels like. You can keep doing that. But in every moment you have a choice that you know what that feels like. And you can decide. I don't want to do that to someone else because I know what that feels like. And I want to experience a different relationship. I want to be the parent I never had. That's what this video was all about. Being the person, that person that you want to be, regardless of what you've been through. You know, once you look at the patterns, once you look at that person, what they did to you, what they said to you, where they were coming from, once you understand it, once you followed all the videos that have been put together for you here, and you can understand that other person and you can forgive it because that's what it's about it's about forgiving it understanding it letting it go once you can do that then you can look at how you want your relationships to be 
how do you want to feel with your children? How do you want that relationship to be? How do you want to feel with your partner? How do you want that relationship to be? You might have grown up with two parents that were very abusive towards each other. You know, all they've ever said, um, you know, demeaning things to each other. They're always putting each other down. They're always treating each other like they're garbage. This is what you've grown up with. You know, two parents that cannot say a nice thing to each other. And you know as a child what that feels like to be around that. You know what it feels like. But you can make a decision today. You can decide, well, I know what that is and I know where that goes. It doesn't go to a place that makes you feel good at all. You or the other person. So you can change that. Because you know what that feels like, you can change it. You can start to treat others in the way that you would like to be treated. And then they will treat you that way. You treat them with kindness. They will be kind to you. You treat them with honesty. They will be honest with you. Give. Give to another person what you would like to receive for yourself. Don't worry about, okay, you didn't get it as a child and that's what you grew up with. This situation. These grown-ups around you, the way they behaved. Yes, you had that experience. Once you can understand them, once you can forgive it and let it go, then you can move on to decide what kind of relationships do I want to have? And then you make them. You make them. If you want to be in a loving relationship, you be loving towards others. If you want kindness, be kind to others. And it will show up for you. But you always, I always say this to my daughter, you always have to set the example. It doesn't matter what other people around you are doing. It doesn't matter if they're doing the wrong thing. <laughs> if you want to call it that, okay? If they're not doing what you're supposed to be doing, you know, if they're not being kind, if they're not being honest, if they're not being generous, if they're not using their gifts, if they're not being loving, that's them. That's their experience. It doesn't have to be yours. That's them. That's, that's up to them to do what they want to do with their life. But you can change it by you understanding your past, understanding it for what it truly was, understanding the truth of it for you understand it and you can choose no I didn't like how I was treated so I'm not going to do it to someone else I'm going to treat them the way I would have liked to have been treated and that's what my dad did and to this day I adore him I would do anything for my dad to this very day because he made that decision. No, I didn't like being beaten up. I didn't like being treated, you know, with, without love, without affection, without cuddles, without kind words. Just treated like the next one down the line and go to work as soon as you're old enough. And if you don't bring in enough at the end of the day, you're gonna be beaten up because you didn't pull your weight for that day, you know? It's just the way it was. It's just the old days. But he chose something different. He swore he would never do that to someone else. So, it's up to you. It's up to you. Always. It's always been up to you. It's your choice. Who you want to be. Then be that. You know from what you've lived through what you don't want to be. If it's something that made you feel really bad inside. If you've grown up with something that made you feel horrible inside about you and about the people around you that made them feel bad, then you know you don't want more of that in your life. Then don't. Do something else. Have another experience in your life. Something different. See what it's like to be on the other side of it. If you witness two people being unkind to each other, experience kindness another human being. Alright my darlings, 
I love you guys. Remember to click like and subscribe below so you don't miss any of the messages. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye for now.